open up your mind to the way the conscious way the way of conscious mindfulness hey sifu boggy here once again and welcome to the way of conscious mindfulness so firstly who the heck am I and what's this all about? Well, my name is Sifu Boggy. Sifu means guide, mu, somebody who points you along the way, who guides you on your path. Now, I am a master and I have been mastering what I do for the last 36 years. And what is it that I do in essence? Well, in essence, I help healers, life work, workers and coaches supercharge themselves and ensure that they never burn out because in the path of what i do which is a barefoot doctor and a dragon dog shaman in the old ancient ways healers light workers coaches should always have energy should never burn out and should always be able to have that abundance of energy to help their clients their patients so what's this show all about well this show is The Way of Conscious Mindfulness. It is a weekly podcast and uh, a weekly podcast and Facebook Live show discussing spirituality and science, balancing health and well-being with mind, body and spirit with a Taoist twist. What does the Tao mean? The Tao means the way, the path, the balance. Now, surprise, surprise, we are not the normal show. Anything with me in it ain't normal. Each week, we either have a subject or a guest. Tonight, we have a wonderful guest. And our aim, our goal is to have uh, is to have an open discussion to help us all find new ways, new techniques, new skills to balance our very own personal path, way or Tao. So without further ado, I press the old button and well, good evening, Ray. How are you doing? I'm not doing too bad, thank you. How are you? Uh, uh, not bad at all. A few technical difficulties earlier with uh, Be Life, but but we're back on. We're 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 back on the gas. It's all it's all going well. So yeah, so what, we'll we'll flip it as I well we've got one oh no a couple of people popping up now so uh, say hello it's always great to say hello we'd love love to uh, uh, see who it is on the show so we got uh, Krista Shating Titia she's well hey Krista there she is and then we've got Mystic Mystic Morris uh, hello how are you doing hey, Misty. Uh, oh yeah, Misty. I said Mystic, didn't I? Misty. Hello, Misty. <laughs> Sorry, Misty. Uh, and Sue. Sue, how are you? Hello, Sue. How are you? Hello, doing? Sue. So it's all good. Uh, and and the wonderful Krista says, "Welcome, Ray." There you go. Thank you. Indeed. So, well, you've actually been on the show. You have been on the show. It was last year, wasn't it? Was it was? Yeah. Even, yeah, it was last year. It was last year. I think. Yeah, um, that that's yeah, that ring that rings a bell. Um, so, but it's great, it's great to have you on the show again, and okay. and and this this is oh, actually I forgot the way of bit, but this is the way of trans of tran transformational journey. So we'll get into that in the second. But I'll ask that question, that that question, my niche question, the question I know and love. So this is this is your show, Ray. This is Ray Callanan. The way of Ray Callanan. Um, sorry, Callanan. Callanan. Uh, yeah, what she said. <laughs> my my dyslexia's kicking in today. It's there, good and proper. So, this is the show. Let's just say this is the way of Ray, okay? Um, this is the way of Ray. So, Ray, what is your way? What is your personal Tao? Okay. Um, my Tao has developed over the years. Um, I mean, when I was a kid, it was, how can I help people? And that was, I had no idea what it was. I just wanted to help people. And then with everything I've been doing over the years, it's, it's kind of like developed into, I'm really here to help people on their journey, on their path, um, to, to actually move forward, um, to be the best they can in this life to help them accelerate faster on their personal journey. Um, so 
you know, I kind of like help those at crossroads in their life to heal their past, create their future and transform their present so they can take control of their destiny in the here and now. Because I feel that if we're in the present, we can do anything. If we're in the past, we can't. If we're in the future, we can't. But if we're in the present, we can do so much and move ourselves so much forward. So my way is really to help people on their journey to move forward to get where they're meant to be to be in control of their life and their destiny uh, that's a good way to be and and like since, since like the last since the last show i mean your yours your sort of ways enhanced even more because you've got your own show yourself now haven't you i have yes every wednesday at 8 p.m angels and destiny show yes i uh, i interview well it's more conversations rather than interviews um guests uh who impart their wisdom on helping women at crossroads in their life to uh, take control of their destiny in, in the here and now so yeah i'm it's, it's really quite good I'm, I'm enjoying it so much so it's quite nice to be on the other side for a change yeah yeah it is um yeah it's that it's that inter that interesting thing like you get used to you know you know as doing the whole you know the interview stuff and then when yeah when you get the actual charge you go oh i can oh i can sit back in the next <laughs> hour oh this is quite yeah. comfy i don't have to worry about the 1500 messages coming up or 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 whether i've just planted it on the right you know on the, on the, on yeah. the right side on the right thing yes i know the the, the, the things of being your own producer, your own uh, te technician, your own uh, uh, your own promoter. Yes, it's a it's a it's a fun old job uh, doing these podcasts. But uh, yeah, it is it's fun. It's, it is great yeah. fun. I'm, it's uh it's coming. It'll actually be coming up to three years for me. Uh, June. Wow. June will be three years. This shows shows been going. So I uh, started off in, on YouTube, as I said to you earlier. Yeah. Uh, and now but Facebook Live, I love – see, I love the interaction. I love mm. this whole getting people to uh, interact with you. So, uh, like we've got – so, uh, Glyn. Uh, Glyn, Hello, Glyn. Hi from New Zealand. Uh, Lisa. So, so glad. Hi, I Lisa. Came there you go, Sifu and Ray. Hey. Uh, and hello from Miami, the wonderful – Miami with Lisa. Uh, Donna also saying hi as well. Hi, Donna. And uh, Sue saying, oh, please post a link. What link, Sue? What link are you referring? Oh, your group. We'll, well, we'll, we'll put that on a little bit later. Um, or at least we'll have your website link. And then um, you can obviously put it on a little bit yeah. later, the group itself. So, right. So what are we actually going to talk about tonight then, right? Well, last time we spoke a lot about the angels, because obviously I do um, angelic Reiki. Um, but I thought, you know, this time let's do a little bit different because I, I although, although I work with angels and they're in everything, um, you know, I also do hypnosis, past life regression and future life uh, um, uh, progression. So I thought, why don't we have a chat about past life or future life progression? Um, if, if it's something that people are, are interested in, because we've done the angels already, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. they come in anyway. So, so it, it all it, see, see that's that. I I tend to call a lot of people Taoists, but yeah, you know that that's the whole Taoist thing is that you know some people try to say, oh, you know, I'm just niche, I'm just this. Is that for me? Everything's all the same. So it exactly. all comes, it all comes in. It all it all throws in itself in sooner or later. So um, it, it, it does, because because obviously, you know, I've got pagan roots, you know, and I bring the paganism into angels and future life and past life. You know, shaman, it all just all mingles and works together. Mm. Yeah. And, and as it should, as it should. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, so there's nothing like a good bit of mingling. That's what I always say. <laughs> we like so, mingling. mingling. Yeah, yeah. Like the old so yeah so what is for those who don't know and for those who haven't seen um well we obviously will uh, uh, ask about both but what so what is past life regression what is that okay well it's it kind of like in a way if you would contradict what i said earlier because i said i work in the I present so i like everyone to be in the present but i like but, but going back to your past life a lot of stuff that happened in your past life, whether it's um, 
in this lifetime childhood, etc., or previous lifetimes, whatever issues and problems you had then quite often affect you in the present. So by doing the past life regression, we can actually take you back to that time. And by going to that time and exploring it, um, getting a sense of what was happening around it, um, you can then understand why you have those reactions now and why you sort of like do the things you do now. And the way I work with past life regression is that I take people back to a point that's significant for what they need to know for their present. So, you know, you might, uh, I had one lady who came to me and she was eating a lot. Um, and, she, and she thought in a past life she'd been starved. So she wanted to go back to explore that. So she'd stop the overeating in this lifetime. But when we actually took her back, she actually went back to a life where she was um, a wife, a mother, and she had a very boring life. She just didn't do anything. Um, she just, there was stuff she wanted to do, but she never ever did it. You know, she just let life roll on, not do anything, not do anything. And then um, I normally take a person to the point of death and then into the in-between life. So they get to experience being between between lives and you can review your life, etc. And it was, her, her biggest regret was, I didn't do anything I wanted to do. And when she came back and we were talking afterwards, she eats because she's not doing what she's supposed to be doing. She knew she was supposed to be doing tarot readings and other stuff, but she wasn't. And instead of doing it, she was eating. Mm. So, so by working on that past, we came in and she's now doing, you know, card readings and other bits and pieces. She does. So what you think you might go back to a past life that you think is the issue, but technically it isn't. Um, I mean, my first ever past life experience was, was several years ago. And I think I mentioned it in my last one that that was kind of like a bit of a journey for me. You know, and I went back and I was a seven year old child, you know, and I died of a heart attack of sitting by a tree. Um, but that explained a lot of stuff in my childhood. Um, why I actually had such a good childhood now uh, com compared to that one. And another past life that I went back to, well, several past lives I've actually died as a result of being injured by horses. And I do, obviously didn't know that till, till now, but years ago with the next partner, we went on one of those gypsy caravan weekends where you get the horse in the old caravan. And although I liked horses, I was always a little bit apprehensive of them and I just couldn't um, sit up in the carriage and steer the horse. I was happy walking to, by the side of it so I could move if need be. And when we took the horse back, or took the caravan back I actually nearly got squished by the horse I for some reason I ended up between the horse and um, some bars and literally it was only the strength of my um, ex-partner and the guy that actually stopped me being crushed and then of course when I had the past life stuff and I knew it was I've been with horses that's why I had that issue so by learning about that and working that out when I went to Egypt several years ago um, to help out uh, uh, Elizabeth White who does um, animal healing and she takes her students out to Egypt to um, Animal Care Egypt to work in the animal sanctuary over there. And she asked me to come along to heal the healers because when they heal animals, they tend to pick up all the emotions and everything. Whereas with, with Angelic Craig, I don't do that. So I was doing healers and I actually got there was a horse there called Princess Cinderella. And basically she was dying, but she wouldn't lay down. She was fighting and fighting. And one of the ladies, um, Paige, uh, took a shine to and was trying to do healing on her. And then after two or three days, she said, you couldn't do some angelic reiki on her. And it's like, oh my God, I've got to do angelic reiki on a horse. Now, when they do animal healing, they have their eyes open with angelic reiki, I have my eyes closed. So I'm gonna be standing with a horse, hands on with my eyes closed. Okay, 
I can, I can, you know, because I've had all that, I don't know about past life, I was able to do it. And my God, it was the most amazing experience. Um, I mean, Pegasus came in and about 15 minutes after I'd finished, I got called back and basically she had decided to lay down and I was privileged to be with her when she passed. Now, if I hadn't had that known about my past life with horses, I wouldn't have been able to stand there and do the healing on the horse. So it just goes to show that once you know a past life and you know the reasons behind it, it can change a lot of stuff that's happening in the present for you, which will then allow you to move on and change direction in your life. Yeah, there's, there's, see, there's this thing in, in you know, I'll always talk about Darius stuff because mm. that's, my, that's my main journey. That's my main path, and and with but but also there's this within China that they talk about the ancient ones, the ancient knowledge, and they're talking about their talk is about people who were pre Atlantis. So they yeah. they recognise Atlantis existed, um, and this is because this is the this is this interesting. I've had Tim Wild on the show before mm. uh, the great Tim Wilde and he's very much and this is where me you know me and T Tim have this sort of um <laughs> friendly disagreement because in Tim's philosophy it was the first Atlantis was the first place that um humans were in physical form um and my knowledge um of of the stuff I've I've studied and also sort of past life stuff I've had so actually well no I I I can see we we were human much form, much above, um, much further back so, so there's but but there is this thing of there is a possible um two atlantis is that there's actually uh, uh there's actually a time slip where where it sort of split and in in sort of a higher realm there was one where where they were went straight to and from angelic form straight into human form and the yeah. other one where uh, so the, there is this sort of interesting debate on that. But anyway, mm. um, that, that's a digression. But the ancient ones, the ancient ones say that your addictions are actually because you're trying to fill the void. And you the void is that emptiness of A, not doing your mission, and B, not realising that you have lived and died over and over and over again. Yeah. And this is because we sort of we we sort of, especially on Earth we we have this blockage where we we get born to do well. Yeah, it, they used to say that we get born with all our memory wiped. But I've yeah. known more and more kids, and there are more and more kids coming through. And there is uh, both in India, Africa, and China. China, mm. there are loads of um, in, there, there are loads of um actual scientific documentations of children yeah. saying i'm um i remember being doris um a, a 95 year old woman who lived 50, 16 miles away in, in or 60 miles away in the village so they go to that village and ask about doris and and yet yeah, doris was this this and this and and they've got they got in, in in China, India, and Africa especially. They've got um, thousands of these documented cases where they're saying that these children remember this information. So mm. this is weird. I, I find it interesting that we there used to be this thing where our memories were wiped, but something's happened in yes. the last since two thousand. Where now I think the children coming through are remembering more. But also, I think also depends where you are. In the old days, when your ch you know a child would say, "Oh, you know, have an imaginary friend." Your friends. And to me, they're not imaginary. They're I, they're they're the guides, spirits, and or they're reliving their past life. So it's not imaginary at all. So like with me, you know, and my part of the time, we never berated or told off Ketra to, for no. having you know, because. Uh, we 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 actually way before we had kids, we talked about it. So you know, to me, that's not that's not you know they're not imaginary. They're not making no. it up. They're seeing things because when you're born, you have more of your abilities, and it's uh, through adulthood we show exactly. Them it it is it it is sort of like all your um, family and your friends, etc. And I think it's, it's it's up till seven years old, isn't it? And that's when you start getting. Um, your idea of the physical world as as it be before then you are quite free with everything that that you see and of course 
when we were children, it wasn't, I mean, I was quite lucky having a um, spiritual mum. But I know a lot of my uh, people my age, sort of like friends and that, didn't have that kind of thing, which is probably why they always gravitated towards my mum. But I always said people coming, we always said people coming around to ask, can can you give a bit of a lock of my hair to your mum, please? Especially as teenagers. Um, But yeah, but now it's kind of like, lot more children are coming through and people our age kind of like are more accepting of it and they're allowing their children to have that space and that freedom to actually say what they're what they're thinking what's happening to them without going no that's just an imaginary friend or you're or you're making it up and I mean I've I've spoken on tv a couple of times I think there's um a program in the American tv program that actually looks at children and their past life memories and and they actually take the children to the places mm-hmm. and that so you know even in america now it's kind of like being more and more accepted that yeah children that past lives do exist um because how can children that are coming through know this stuff you know and, and even adults you know you you can regress some some adults and they'll speak a completely different language that they don't even know about Mm. You know, and it's like they would never, ever have known that language. So they must have seen it or been in it in a past life to act, to actually bring it to bring it through. So, yeah, th- things are changing. And of course, a lot more of the children with the crystal children and rainbow children, etc. They're not just having remember the past life stuff, but some of them are literally coming from other planets, other universes, other dimensions. And they're bringing that knowledge because they're remembering it. But of course, the problem is they're a little bit highly evolved and sensitive to the denser energy of Earth, which luckily is now rising a bit. But, you know, so, yeah, I, I think children are absolutely amazing with, with the stuff they come because it validates a lot of, of the stuff that we already know that we're doing. Yeah. And and there is that thing of um, it's, it's actually... It's because it was a mis uh, uh, mistranslation of um, the um, again Confucius was actually said to have said it. It was actually a Taoist saying. A lot of the Taoist sayings ended up being used by other people. But um, um, the the saying that um, uh, you know show show me a child of nine and I will show you an adult is mm. that people went that was oh you know by the age of nine that that you know um that you know your main ca- characteristics would, would be there for the rest of adulthood but what he's actually saying is that before the age of nine you are a true sifu you are true connected to the Tao, and by the age of nine you start getting you start looking up at all these adults and saying oh i want to be like him i want to be like yeah. that and you start losing all those abilities and and it's like by nine then they're, they're, you know, they're on that path of adulthood. So that saying was actually about it, it. Was actually about the thing of people closing down by nine. Yeah. If you didn't keep it going, you would lose. You'd lose your um, immortal. What was called the immortal memory, and the immortal memory is your your past lives. You know, knowing that you've lived over and over again, and the yeah. past lives. Now, another one, another sort of question that's pop, popped up for me um, is is this is that when when you do a regression on on a person have you ever had or you know do, does normally a person just get one mem you know one lifetime or or do other lifetimes pop up or you know does it dom- domino effect into other memories it can do i mean ideally you want just um the one one issue but sometimes there's combined issues that work and you do have to be careful because um, you, you know you take someone back to the point in time that's most different for them, and then once you've explored that, you then take them forward to the next uh, step. And sometimes they will jump into another life, and you're suddenly hold on a minute ago you were in sandals and uh, a cloth outfit, now you're in a 1920s dress. Okay, you've obviously jumped here why have you jumped here you you know and then you kind of like have to say okay have you jumped here because it's important or have you jumped here because the memory back then 
you don't want to face it. So you've gone to a memory that's that's a lot uh, nicer. And technically, you then have to try and get that person back to that memory that's not so good because that's the one they need to work through. Mm -hmm. So, but yeah, and you can also jump into other dimensions. I mean, I've never had anyone jump into another dimension, but I have heard people jump into other past lives. And, that, and then you had try to have to work out significant, or do I need to bring them back to this one? Mm -hmm. So, so, so yeah, you can jump more than uh, one life, and you can actually move people through different uh, through different lives. So, you know, you go back to the most significant point, um, and then you go to the in between life. And then you can say, is there another life um, that's going to be significant to you that we need to explore now? Um, or do we need to explore it in another session? Hmm. So, 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 yeah, you, you can do explore more than one life in a session. Um, but ideally, it's, unless it's significant for the issue you're dealing with, it's probably best to, to try and get to the, just the one the one to explore in that time and and then that that's such you know that's you know that, that's the 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 interesting thing where 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 you think of of you know like like phobias and and reactions you have to certain things now and where people go oh you know i i don't know you know i don't know why you know i i i react like that to this or, or to that and it's like well everything you know, all our lives are interconnected. You know, like, mm. you know, it, for those who remember um, Sam, um, Sam Beckett or Quantum Leap. And, Quantum you know, Leap, yes. Yeah, I used to love that program. Um, and you know, and 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 the the and the thing with like the Taoist with the Dragon Dog Shaman is that everything is interconnected. Everything. So, you know, there is that thing of of you know, like your phobias are actually you know reflections or, or, of your past so if you have a phobia that actually not might not necessarily be this lifetime it might actually go back to the next because yeah. certain memories and certain feelings can be brought through and even to the point where there was this really cool one um with, with the when they did the tests on um on these these children they were also finding stuff like um Say, say a person before their death, they they had um, a horrific accident that left a scar, and that and yes. the child's got you know got scars and got indentations. Um, yeah. to, to even the thing of like they say about freckles is that freckles are are the scarring of part of of uh, being burnt or or, 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 or crucified in, in a past life. So there's this interesting thing of of and you know when you get into quantum physics, quantum physics is now saying that everything is interconnected to everything else. Yeah. And and everything can store data. And and the fact that even science will say is that your your body is created from dead stars you know mm. your, your 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 body is so all the information from everything that your the the atoms the the atoms in your body have been before are stored in you so that yeah. alone is a mind blast you know that that alone is is enough to make you uh you know go whoa you know so but there's this so you know this thing of is that where i think we it's great that you know, like yourself, there are so many people now doing this where you can do the regression mm. and you can realize that everything's interconnected. Yeah. And, you know, and and it's the shadow work, you know, it's working back on the yes. past stuff and learning from it because, you know, the again, one of the Taoist things of of is that um, if if you're balanced, here comes the hammer, uh, you know me and the hammer. If you're balanced, then things you thrive. You know things work. If you're if you've got issues, if things are are not working correctly, if you get that, <coughs> and <coughs> this is even the same in psychology and NLP, mm. neuro linguistic programming. If you fall into the same pattern over and over again, it's because you haven't learned from the, that pattern, and that doesn't have to be just this life. It can be. You know that you know you're going through where you know you know you find yourself in a situation where where you know that the, there are people uh, picking on you or or criticizing you, and it's because you haven't got over that past life energy. You haven't got over that from another energy. So yeah, yeah. it's very very cool and very interesting how everything's interconnected. 
Oh yeah, I, I mean, yeah, everything. You know, you know, I'm connected to you. We're connected to everyone watching this because we're all the same energy. We're just all vibrating on different dimensions from it. But another thing that I have found with the past life is it's not just sometimes your issues, but it's your ancestral issues that you that you're bringing through into this life. So you're not actually just healing your own issues, but you're healing your family's issues as well when you start going into the ancestral stuff. So, you know, there's certain things that women, um, I don't know, from generation to generation to generation have always had this disfigurement or, you, you know, as, a, as an example. But when you take one person back to sort out that issue for the ancestral line, you'll find that those that are females that are then being born don't have that disfigurement because you've cleared the ancestral line. Because again, it's where we're all connected. You know, you choose your families who you're born to, you choose your genes and that. And when you do that, you pick up, you bring stuff from the previous lifetimes. So it's not just, so quite often when you're healing your past, you're also healing the ancestral path as well and helping your family to move on with their lives, which I think is absolutely amazing. And it's yeah. brilliant that it can work like that. It's not just affecting you, it's affecting other people around you as well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The dragon dog shaman are very much into and, and like you know that in like China, they they do there's these interesting things uh um in China. Like for example, when somebody dies, um <clears throat> nearly every near every family has a ancestral burial site um and what happens is is that they where the person dies they they or at least in the, in the old they still do it in the villages they still do it but they they would have go what they call ghost walkers and where somebody would die they they would pick up that that person's uh ghost their 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 their, their, their consciousness and they would walk um from wherever they were back to their ancestral home um and so you would see like i said this was like i saw this back in back in the uh in the 90s hmm. uh when i was in china and you would have these people this it would be this like a procession and there'd be this ghost walker this guy would have this big banner and the banner was uh would draw the ghosts and he would slowly walk from one place to to the next village and the next village and go to the ancestral home and they would bring the 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 ghost backs and they do one of the reasons they do that is to it sort of um it neutralizes karma so it is that when somebody hasn't been taken but when somebody hasn't been back to the ancestral there if they've got an ancestral site if they don't go back to the ancestral site there is an imbalance and that person um that that energy is then brought onto the the children and the children's children so there there is this thing even even in the west if you know where you know your 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 grandparents uh were brought up or or you know if you know your your family name where it where it comes from where it where you know its origins are if you can go to that that place and you know just spend just spend an afternoon there and just say you know i i love and release or you know the the ancestral uh knowledge or the ancestral luggage of all of my name or of my clan you it's a way of of bringing yeah. back all that information um and because there's one of this thing of um uh, another uh, another one of our past guests was saying that this is the biggest thing with with ghosts is that ghosts are not settled. Is that when mm. you, especially you get the ones that are you know at four o'clock every Tuesday afternoon, you'll see you'll you'll see the lady walking past. It's the image. Her, the, or, there's an imprint of of what happened or an emotional imprint. Yeah, energy, and until it's cleared, it will keep repeating. It keeps going over and over again um there, there's a great well the, there's always been a thing because of the stuff i've always done um i've gone to the most haunted places in england quite a few uh haunted places in russia as well um and and they're, they're always su surprised in, in actual there's one place in russia um I, i've went about four times and by the second time they're just oh it's him again there's not going to be any ghosts today 
Boggy's turned up, no ghosts, go home, no, no, and and it was, it was like, it'll be like very little to not to nothing, and it's like, because there's something about you know it's the Boggy energy, it's the Dragon Dog energy, you know they go, oh okay, we'll we'll be we'll be good today, or it sort of moves moves one or two of them on, so it's that yes, yeah, it's, it's an interesting thing. Because, you know, you go back to quantum physics, or I go back to quantum physics and Einstein, everything that exists is meant to exist. Energy yes. can't be destroyed. It can only be transferred. Your consciousness, yeah. some people use the word soul. I prefer consciousness. Soul actually comes from uh, the Latin word from body of breath. So it's actually more the living, the yeah. soul is the living thing. The consciousness is the thing that's, you know, here now, but then moves on to the next. And your consciousness is energy. So therefore it can't be. So, you know, Einstein himself said, you can't destroy energy, it can no. only be transferred to something else. That means we can't die. You can't, no. you know, when you die, you go somewhere. Because exactly. So, yeah, but... your physical body dies because it's meant to die so that you can move on to your next stage. Hmm. You know, if, if your body didn't die, you'd be doing the same things over and over again, living the same body, the same lifestyle. So the body has to die for you to move on to another, uh, um, to, you know, uh, another thing where you could be a male or, you know, an, um, an ET, you know, you know, you could be anything because that's where you're meant to go to next. Indeed. Well, we'll, we'll have a quick quick scan of the uh, mm. uh messages so um so lisa's saying this is a very interesting topic now this one see i know i know about this um so richard richard says four hundred thousand uh humans uh tribe that came to earth five billion years ago now you know because like, a lot of people say oh you know we weren't around that long well there's actually there's actually a footprint that was in um it, i think it's um so i may say million i meant billion um yeah there's there is actually a foot footprint that uh greg braden talks about um in, yes in the mighty greg braden and it's of i think it's about three billion years old there's a human footprint in in this thing and there's this rare you know there's lots of things about the history that we know is not the history it's not the true history is that there's lots of in, information that's mislaid or just lost or what whatever and there's some really you know some really cool stuff about that sort of thing um then richard also then says welcome to earth yes indeed um uh, what is leah so leah says i think some some remember more because the weight oh we light workers don't condition our children to think yes. that we that it isn't real yes indeed mm. and i think that's the that's the point we are at a point the you know we are at a point where there's far more woke, uh, people who are awake there's far more people yes. who who know at you know because it was a thing of our you know i, I was born in the 70s so there was a thing of you know back then the children of i knew i was awake enough to know not to talk about certain things because i i i got the strong impre in, in impression that if i was to say that i actually remember you know i i remember several lifetimes and i actually remember you know being here since the dawn of the universe and stuff like that that i will probably end up getting locked up so yeah. and I, I knew that as a child i knew that no you know just by little other things um and you know dad said oh don't be silly oh, don't don't be silly don't say things like that you know people will think you're crazy and i realized yeah you know you know that that was you know there's more truth in that than than you think but now you know that's that great thing we are getting to a point now where um yeah, pe people are realizing yeah. well, actually, there is more to this. There is, you know, there is something out there, and 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 so I love science, and I love bombarding people with science. When people say this is a load of rubbish, have that, have that. Yeah, exactly. And and a lot of stuff there is science behind it. Mm. Very much. Um. Right. So what I want to. So we've talked about progression. So what? Mm. Is, uh, sorry, we talked about regression. So mm. what is progression? Okay, so then you go to the other extreme of future life progression, which again, how can that happen if you if I'm working in the present? Well, the thing is, if you can go into the future, you can bring back 
the stuff from the future back into your present to help you move forward a lot quicker. Um, so it, it's kind of like imagine if you knew five years ago what you knew now. And you think if I went five back five years ago, I would be doing things a lot different now. Be, you know, I would have I wouldn't have gone down that path. I'd have gone down that path. So when you go into the future and you can go five years into the future, 10 years into the future, into your next lifetime, you can actually see where you are at that time and make decisions in this present time, whether you continue on that path or you go down a different path, you know, and it's quite good also if you've got decisions to make, you know, if you're lucky enough to have three guys propose to you, you know, you can go into five years if, if, you're, if you agree to marry one guy, you can go five years if you are into the other one and five years into the one and you see how you feel, what your life is like, and that will help you make the decision of which one is better for you. You know, so it's it's brilliant that you can get that, you know, you can get that that choice of seeing your your future life. But it comes to people in different ways. It's the same as past life regression. Some people see it, some people um, feel it, some people sense it. I'm one of those that know these things. I I although I'm a I'm a good um, storyteller with guided meditations and I can guide people into beautiful things. When I when I'm taken forward or back, I'm kind of like more of a knowing person than an actual seeing person. Um, so I so they go, you know, are you male or female? Look at your feet. Well, I'm female. You know, I don't need to. But other people go, oh, yeah, look at my feet. Oh, yes, I've got shoes on or I've got, you know, I've got boots on. Or, or something like that. So going into the future is a good way of knowing what you should be doing now. And if you don't like what you see five years time, you can change it because you can actually speak to your future self and say, OK, how did I end up in this situation? What what do I need to do so I don't end up in this? Or if it's a good situation, what do I need to be doing in my present lifetime? So I can be in, in this time. And quite often you find that when people bring, come back from that, because you bring that energy back, you start noticing your life in the present time actually changing. You know, you start acting differently. You may dress differently, you know, even standing differently because you've brought that confidence and that stuff back. And, you know, if it, in five years time, it shows you um, in your I don't know, on the island of Capri, living on the island of Capri, when you bring that energy back, you can actually make it quicker in five years' time because you've learned where you will be in five years. But, hey, I want to do it in three years. So I ask my future self, how did I get here? And you can bring that stuff back. And quite often, it's sometimes it's easier for people to actually go into their next lifetime or into a future lifetime. And, you know, there's been some... You know, people have said, you know, I don't worry the world is going to end and, you know, humanity is going to die out and we're all this because people have been into the have been into the future. Yes, we've evolved into a different type of thing, but we're still recognisable uh, and that, you know, we are still going on. We're just in another, you know, in another body, in another dimension something like that you know I've gone into my next lifetime and I don't exist anymore I'm at, I'm actually universe which I kind of like knew anyway um uh, the shake records have said it and I've known it since I was a kid that this is my last time on earth hence why all my past lives have been so traumatic whereas my this lifetime I had a brilliant childhood it hasn't been as traumatic as a lot of other people's because I've got so much work to do in this lifetime because I'm not coming back again, you know, and it wasn't scary at all when I went into the future and it's like, oh, I'm just the universe. I'm just here, you know, just, yeah, I just am. Um, yeah. And that, you know, we, which was, which was, I mean, I already knew from a shake records, but it's personal confirmation to me that that's where I'm going to be, you know, but other people 
have been to other, you know, they're still on Earth, but Earth is slightly different. And again, there's scientific studies behind it. There's documented stuff about it, which is why, which is why I do like past life um, regression and future life regression, because both have got bits of science mm. to I them. I, I mean, for I, I mean, I did see on there. Where did, oh, yeah. So, so Lisa, Lisa said, "Oh, I, I didn't know you could go into the future." Mm -hmm. Um, we've actually had we we've had the wonderful Anne Josh. Yes, um, that's who I learned with. Yeah. So we've, we've already had the wonderful Anne Josh on the show, and we've talked about that about two different shows. Um, and I'm oh, well, actually. Um, um, I'm sure she'll be back on again soon. Uh, a, uh, agent, um, agent, uh, um, no, Agent A, Agent A, as yeah. I call it, she calls me Agent Twenty Seven. Yeah. Um, so yeah, the wonderful Aunt Josh. Um, there's another guy um, who does a, a similar. Well, he he actually does also the dimensional stuff, which is um, quantum jumping. By mm. um, I just because uh, I always forget his name. Um, but I had it and then I've lost it again. Um, Where's his name? Where's his name? Bert Goldman. Bert Goldman. And, yes. And he, he's the guy who actually saw an alternative. Uh, I think he was about 70, 70 years old. He saw he he's he saw an alternative version of himself painting um, and being a professional painter. And he talked to him and, and absorbed that energy and came back. And within a year, he was suddenly doing um, he ha had these paintings that were in the gallery. And then he did the same again with um uh, with music that he wasn't, he'd never, for 75 years, never done music. And then he suddenly became uh, a, um, a, a professional uh, musician um, within, again, within less than a year. And it was this, so that was more in essence the dimensional stuff, but he says mm. you can also go forwards as well. And the dad, the dragon yeah. dogs, the dragon dogs been talking about that sort of stuff. Um, it's quite funny with the whole quantum physics. When, I studied the dragon dog stuff and then started start started studying quantum physics. There was all this stuff. Yeah, they were talking about this thing. They've been talking about folding space and time and that everything is a circle or a spiral or a circle. That we see it as a linear. We think we're moving forwards, but actually, you know, the you know, like you you say about living in the now, you live in the now because everything's happening all at once. That's yeah. that really cra crazy thing. And there's there's actually documented cases um, from uh, what well, the FBI did stuff, but um, CIA were actually talking about they had created machines that were actually seeing um, uh, television pictures from the future. They were actually picking up information because of this whole thing of technically everything is this all at once. And if you can uh, alter the, the frequency uh, enough, you can actually pick up stuff from the future. And and so, yeah, the, there is this thing of, um, you know, seeing those timelines. Yeah. And then also, to, again, the multiverse theory indicates that everything it, um, every possible outcome that has ever been possible exists all at once. So yeah. not just, you know, not just the fact that, um, but, you know, um, the, the dinosaurs didn't get hit by a meteor and they still roam the earth. But every every outcome that you've ever done, everything that you've ever done, it still it, it exists in another reality. And for those who have ever listened to the channel Bashar, um, who is actually supposed to be, um, uh, is, um, I can't remember the guy who channels him, but um, he's a channeled entity in essence from the future. And he, like he talks talks about that, we actually zip in and out of timelines all the time. Mm. That when you, you know, like if you have your tarot read and it says that, you, you know, you're, you know, that this, a certain thing's going to happen. I'm going to meet a tall, dark stranger. Well, I don't want to meet a tall, dark stranger. I want to meet a short, I want to meet a dwarf who, who does combat skills. So by thinking that you change the reality that, because there's always been this thing of, you know, like people say about tarot cards or or even readings that you say, well, that never happened. And it's like, but, you know, the, the quantum physics says, well, did it not happen? Because now you know about it, you're actually changing it from happening. Yeah. And and yeah, that that's the, you know, that real interesting thing where, you know, is is that we, that, you know, you can say in one way things are fate or there is a probability of what 
what's going to happen but we are also the creators of our, our own destiny so if you decide you don't want that timeline you can change it you can alter it exactly exactly and that that's why you know going into the future is so brilliant because you can change your, your future um you know and and uh, with the thing about other dimensions and that um same thing um that I, that I should have mentioned when i was talking about past life you know i have actually had people that have gone when they go back to a past life they've been in one minute and next minute they're in an alternate reality but at the same period in time and again you have to you have to just you know you have to distinguish so yeah there, there's all we're always running on parallel um universes what you know whatever you want to whatever you want to call it but yeah you can you change it and again it's like the the tarot um you know what which is why why i like doing the oracle angel oracle cards rather than the tarot now is the tarot tells you the tarot will guide you or tell you what will happen if you follow this path and you make the decision whether you're going to follow it i mean an example would be when i was younger my aunt did my cards and this is when i used when when i was a t uh, late teens and i was going to nightclubs and my aunt had never been to this this nightclub in Erith before. And the I mean, I literally had the tower, death, I had everything. And she and she picked up through the cards that basically she saw me being pushed over the stairs by bouncers, not deliberately, but there was some incident and I was on the stairs and I was was pushed over. So I made the conscious decision not to go to that nightclub until you know that that wasn't there so i changed what those cards said were going to happen and it's again you know if the cards say oh you're going to win the lottery but you don't do the lottery and you go but i haven't won well did you do the lottery no well there you go and that uh, yeah. with oracle cards they they tell you what you need to know in the present what is happening now yeah. and, and and that's a uh, there's actually there's, card, there's a, a set called the I Ching. Um, so I C H I N G, and it is now a cards. Originally, they were actually on chopsticks, or you can actually use coins. And it's like, yes, I've, I've done that. Yeah, so so the lines and um, and the great thing with them, they the 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 I Ching is is it asked it says the outcome. So it's what is the outcome of this, rather than what would oh you know who will I marry? Well, what's the outcome of me yeah. going down this path? What's the outcome? And and it does exactly that. Is it, it's well if you know if you if you continue down this path, this is going to happen. And the interesting thing with the I Ching as well, similar to like um the more advanced versions with some people with, with the tarot cards you know like the, if the tarot card is is reversed or yes. upside down it it has a different meaning um the I Ching is is very similar that um you have six lines and they're they're broken or unbroken well on the oh actually there's me talking about them i forget you've got them down there i've got them down here so the this is the card version and they all got these really pretty pictures oh, and, uh, most and, different and, to the version i remember yeah um so but you can do it on coins so you have hmm. you, you know you have three coins, coins and yeah. you know it's heads, heads or tails. tails two two heads um two two heads and one tail is a um is a solid line two tails and one head is a broken line if you get three heads it's it's a solid line turning into a broken line and three tails is a broken line turning into a solid line which means it could start off as one card but it could actually transform into another card so so you know it so therefore it's then saying well this is one outcome but the this possibly if you if you do the opposite if you do this this is actually more likely yeah. to happen so um it's uh and and yeah the typical me i love that sort of thing because it's you know there's yeah. so you've got 64 cards and then you've got six po different possibilities for each card so you've got six times 64 whatever that is i'm not good at maths but yeah no, that's of, definitely of, my strong point yeah there's a lot of possibilities there that you've got to figure out but um yeah you know so i like yes yeah, so the, the the uh future life progression is a really it's cool thing to do it, it is and it's it's you know and it is absolutely ama amazing you know and if you use it with the past life regression you you transform your whole present life 
Com completely, you know, which is which is when I, well, you know, when I I work, I I offer um, a transformational journey where we work on past life and we see future life as well. Sorry, because, I, yeah, Karen. Yeah, be, because that um, uh, kind of like helps you in in the present because you've healed the past, you've seen your future, so you make your present absolutely brilliant to get you where you want to be faster and much easier, which is what we always want. We always want things to be a lot easier than they actually are. And I think, I think that's the, I think, you know, that is, that is one of the points is that, um, you know, I, I, I used to love listening to the, the, the channel Bashar and Bashar says, you know, you everything exists because it's meant to exist. So every reality uh, exists but the point is you are the creator of your own reality so yeah. if you don't like something change it um, exactly yeah and and you know is is like the form um um the, uh, bruce lipton who is uh uh the um uh, scientist and doc doctor but they know very much about um the placebo effect is yes. that if you believe in in if you believe that this this glass of water is going to heal you it will but what yeah. they also know is there's a nocebo effect of that if you believe this glass of water is going to is going to make all your hair fall out ah! um, and, and, <laughs> there you and, go you know it will and 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 th this is and again going adding that then into quantum physics and the whole thing of reality and quantum physics the reason we in science we have um blind case studies as in the when they do exper experiment the people doing the test only partly know what's happening um and then the person being tested themselves hasn't got a clue or double blind is where where nobody knows what's going on apart from the actual person who created it and the whole reason for this is is that the observer affects the experiment meaning if you know what's supposed to happen or if you have you decide that a certain thing's going to happen, you will actually affect it and make it happen. And and that's the whole crazy thing about our reality is mm. that we originally were told, oh, you're powerless. It's all up to, you know, no offence for people who are religious, but it's all up to God. It's uh, it's God's, uh, God's control. God's in control. Yeah. You have no. And it's like when you actually, one of the things through my martial arts I was taught to do was um, I actually spent 10 years doing uh, theology, studying uh, the different religions. And when you go to the true text... Exactly, it's completely about, different. Yeah, they're all talking about the oneness. They're all talking about is, is you know, the, the, that everything is one, that you have the ability to, to, you know, to choose your path. It's down to you. It's your choice. And, it, you know, there's all this information that every single, you know, all of them from the Quran to the Bible... Um, Old Testament, New Testament, when you go b back to their solid roots, you start seeing the information in a different way. Um, is that, yeah, and, and again, with quantum physics and whatnot, we've been told more and more we have the ability to change our own reality. So, the, you know, your great thing of living in the now, live in the now, and, you know, yes, do the past work. Past work, you know, um, shadow work, whatever you want to call it, that is really important. Because if you've got hang-ups, go and look in your past. Um, it, it, you know, and then, then uh, you know, if if you're told or if you see a, a possible outcome in the future, well, you can change it. You can alter exactly. it. If you don't want it, change it. And if you do want it, you can make it go faster. Exactly. So, you know, exactly. so it's yeah. all good. Yeah, yeah. That, that's that's why I love, that's why I love doing the past life and and the future life. And again, when you do the um, past life, you can actually, you know, when you take that person um, in between lives, you can actually find out why you chose to be born into this life. You know, that's another beautiful, a beautiful aspect of it. You, you can have to, uh, yeah, you know uh, why you were here. Yeah, very much, very much so. Absolutely, as uh, Sue said as well. Yeah, and and that's that's the whole point, you know. Is you know, is it's all about knowing, you know, knowing the now and knowing. And it's great, you know. I love I love the whole thing of like you saying, 
you this is your last last life on earth you know you, you know next ne next next stop is the universe um yeah. be be because that's the whole point you know we you, uh, the, the whole point of we have lived in this linear concept of you know of of you know oh we only have one life or or everything's in a linear point of view and and or you know oh god is separate to us you know the, it's like it's all the same thing we are yeah. all the same thing we we are all one we are all the creator and if we're all one if we're all the creator if we've lived over and over and over again and unless you decide you're going to be the universe like you you'll live over and over and over again yeah. in the future and all the way until the end of end of this universe and then another universe pops up and you can exactly. start all over again if that's all true and if you you know feel that in your heart actually knew that is true how different would your life be how different yeah. would you do things now or, or quite simply, if you could just, you know, go to this lovely lady or Anne Church or any of the other people who do future life progression and see possible outcomes and then go, no, I'll have that one. I'll, I don't want that one. I want that one. How different is your life going to be? Yeah. Be because the, the point of in the past, oh, well, you know, the future is not ours to, to see. So, well, yes, it is. Yeah. You know, can't change the past. Yes, you can. You know, yeah. you you actually have the power to do far more than than you think you know the past the past shows you a, a possible present but it doesn't totally shape you you can reshape it you can let things go and you can it, you can evolve from them and the future doesn't shape you neither the, the future is just a possible outcome exactly. you can you know you can choose that's the point so how can we get hold of you? Where can we find you if we if we're looking to um, get a reading from you? Do the angel card readings or the the progression of progression? Where can we find you, dear lady? Um, well, you can find me on my website, um, which is www.radiantangelenergy.co.uk. Um, I've also got um, a Facebook page, which is again called, funny enough, Radiant Angel Energy. <laughs> um so obviously i can be contacted on both of on both of those and what i do offer is um a free 20 minute um conversation so that uh you can um, you 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 say oh I, you know i'm not sure i want to do this i want to do that well we can have a free um it's free and it's 20 minutes via skype or zoom because i do like actually looking at people when i talk to them rather than just on the on the phone and we can actually chat about um, you know, what you want, whether I can help you, whether you want me to help you, whether you resonate with me, I resonate with you, you know, because it's also people choosing me, but it's also me saying, can I work with that person or not? And we can chat and work out and then we can we can take it forward. So, yeah, you can message me on Facebook or, um, or via the website. Awesome. Cool. Um, so, well, it's been a great show. Thank you so much yet again. Thank you. Um, is there anything you'd like to say before we wrap up? Is there any last words of wisdom or anything you'd like to finish off with? No, I, I, I think we've kind of like, it, it's kind of like the, the, the real, real thing is you're in charge of your journey. You can take control of your destiny. No, it's nobody else can 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 control your destiny you are in control of your destiny all the time so i, I, I think that i think that's the thing that people remember i have control of my destiny hmm. yeah because that's the other that's i see yeah that's a great point because uh, even if you get you know a reading you know for, from a psychic or or you know or, or, or tarot reading they're not telling you your your fate they're giving you a possible outcome they're exactly. pointing you in that in that direction you know it's like a finger pointing towards the moon um but but you don't have to follow that finger you can you can choose your own path that's the whole point yeah so indeed well against right thank you so much love thank you for having thing. me again i love chatting to you it's brilliant and of course you're coming on my show in on the 30th i do believe 
I am indeed, yes. Uh, yes. I, I, I am I am indeed. I remember it well. Um, <laughs> so, as I say, because I've already done it. I've already, <laughs> I've exactly. already done it. I remember it well. Um, yes, indeed. So, it will be great. It will be awesome indeed. So, right, so guys, I hope you enjoyed the show. Um, we have another show tomorrow. Um, Kathy Homeyer from the Cash Academy. She will be on tomorrow, and she is at I can't remember. I think it's six thirty. So it was so it'd be six thirty UK time, which is one thirty Eastern time. Will be Kathy Homeyer tomorrow. Uh, guys, hope you enjoyed it. If you're interested in what I do, very very quickly, um, what is it I do? Um, well. <laughs> I know that I'm on the uh, wonderful coach Nick, the coaches and the healers Sangha. Sangha means gathering. And he is a great guy who teaches um, healers and coaches how to uh, be a, a better coach, a better healer through uh, sales, because sales is service. And what I do on there, I teach you uh, some simple qigongs, some energizing exercises that um, help uh, you uh, supercharge yourself and never burn out, which is. The, my main theme. Also, I have the group Sifu Boggy Shundao Mystery School, which is the group where I teach a little bit of Qigong, do a little bit of Taoist life coaching. Uh, one Moment in the Tao is one of my little shows I do on there. And I do a few other things. And then finally, the wonderful Akashic Academy, um, actually the director of Akashic Academy, Emily, uh, Emily Harrison, Sifu E, as I call her, she will be on the show uh, in March. I've actually got some pretty cool guests in March. Uh, March, March is a, oh, I'll do a bit of name dropping. So I've got uh, Do <laughs> Dr. Love, um, um, Do Dr. Dr. Xavier Love. I love that name, Dr. Xavier Love. Cool He's name. the Qigong guy. It's very cool. He's a very cool guy. He's done a, um, it says, this is why we do Qigong. Put um, Dr. Love, this is why we do Qigong in YouTube. And you'll see his, it's like a rap video. It's freaking awesome. I've also got another hero of mine. I've also got the, um, the uh, magnificent um, Barefoot Doctor. Uh, Stephen Russell, he's coming on in March as well, uh, and um, it's not a f not confirmed totally yet. But David Wolf is supposed to be coming on as well at some point. Um, so it's Boggy's year. It's, Boggy, it's, Stephen, it's Boggy's definitely year. your year, indeed. So thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much. Thank Ray. you everyone been, for watching. Yeah, it's been a brilliant. So don't forget, hit Radiant. Radiant Angel Energy .co .uk, all the good, all the Facebook group, Radiant Angel Energy. It's easier, easier typed than it is said, uh, or it is for me at least. Uh, I'm gonna go and have a lie down, uh, or actually, or maybe just do some more Qigong. So, guys, I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, Ray, don't disappear just yet, but everybody no. else, take care. Bye for now. Love, Chi, and Shen from the wonderful Ray. From myself, 